The topic of this video is graphing the functions listed in the library of functions. In your previous math class, you learned to graph equations containing two variables by finding and plotting points. In this class, we continue this skill by learning to graph functions that are often used in algebra. We call these functions the library of functions, and they include the constant function, f of x equals number, like f of x equals negative 6, for example, the identity function, f of x equals x, the square function, f of x equals x squared, the square root function, f of x equals the square root of x, the cube function, f of x equals x cubed, the cube root function, f of x equals the cube root of x, the absolute value function, f of x equals the absolute value of x, and the reciprocal function, f of x equals 1 over x. To graph a function from the library of functions, follow these steps. Step 1. Assume a value for x, then solve for the value of y. Remember that f of x is the same thing as y. Step 2. Express these values of x and y as an ordered pair, a point. Step 3. Repeat steps 1 and 2 until you have enough points. Step 4. Determine the scale of the x-axis and the y-axis. Step 5. Plot the ordered pairs, then connect the points to graph the equation. Now, I'd like to provide a little more detail on some of these steps. The first thing I would like to share is the idea of enough points. Step 3 says, repeat steps 1 and 2 until you have enough points. What does that mean? That means that you have observed some sort of pattern with the picture that you can now predict what the entire graph looks like based on the points that you have gathered so far. Next, when it says to determine the scale of the x-axis and the y-axis, that is done by investigating the values of x and y you have from the points that you acquired in steps 1 through 3. Based on those points, create a blank graph grid such that all points found will fit on your graph. All right, with that in mind, we're now ready to solve some problems involving graphing functions from the library.